Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam ala ba'd. So for example in Iraq, we see that the Shia, they go and they make pilgrimage commemorating the death of Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And they make a pilgrimage when in fact in Islam there's only one pilgrimage. And pilgrimage does not require for one to beat oneself, flog oneself, flail oneself, cut oneself, hurt oneself, or hurt or harm other people. But in fact, pilgrimage in Islam, the Orthodox Islam, the Islam of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Islam of Allah subhanahu wa taala who revealed the Quran, the uncreated speech of Allah subhanahu wa taala, the pure revelation from Allah tabarak wa taala. The revelation that was brought from the angel Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and is practiced by Muslims everywhere and will be practiced till the end of time. In this religion of Islam, the pure religion of Islam, there is no harming and, there no, and there's no causing harm. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, la darar wa la dirar. And Islam only recognizes one pilgrimage. So where do a people come up with a new place of pilgrimage, a new style of pilgrimage, a new purpose of pilgrimage, and call it Islam in the name of Islam? This is beyond my understanding and beyond the understanding and beyond any pure Islamic concept. This is un-Islamic, anti-Islamic. As it involves little children cutting themselves, flogging themselves and harming themselves. The women out in public hitting their, beating their chest and crying and wailing. What religion is this? What image are those people portraying? They're not portraying an Islamic, uh, they're not portraying anything that reflects on the Islamic faith. Islam doesn't call to anything like this. Islam does not call to pain and it does not call to uh, torture and harming as those individuals have inflicted upon themselves and are in fact willing to die for their beliefs and in fact willing to kill and deceive the ummah and deceive humanity with their evil and deceptive practices. Why is there hostility between Ahl Sunnah and the Shia? Because the Shia have always been a people who have opposed the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They've always been or predominantly through history, most of the sects of the Shia have built as a part of their creed, cursing the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. And this is the practice of the shaitan. This is the practice of the devil. This is the practice of the evil hated one who refused to prostrate to Adam alayhi salatu wa salam as Allah mentions in Surah Al-Baqarah. Of his due to arrogance, and in fact, this is the practice of these people who deviate from Islam and call people to harming. They are following who? The Sunnah of who? The Sunnah of the Shaitan, and their Imams are advocating, propagating, and deceiving the people with deceptive Sunnah, Sunnahs that contradict the Sunnah of Islam. And the sunnah of humanity. What religion calls you to, to cause pain and discomfort to yourself as a way and a means to come closer to your Lord? What, what is this? Nam, we struggle. We struggle in this life. And we struggle and sometimes go through hardships and sometimes do things. We seek knowledge, which can be hardship. We strive in the cause of Allah, which can be, brings about hardship. But to deliberately cause harm to yourself, and those individuals that are extremists, that do suicide bombs, this is also un-Islamic practice, something that has nothing to do with the beloved and pristine faith of Islam. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be all of his names and his divine names and attributes to bless us with guidance, bless those people with guidance away from their deviance, and destroy those un-Islamic practices that have infiltrated the religion of Islam and that have distorted the image 
of Islam. May Allah do away with those practices and preserve his religion. Allah is not in need of us, but we are in need of him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.